quarterback except starting a season. And so you get to do that this weekend. Uh, definitely. I'm very excited about that. Uh, it's uh, an accomplishment to start off the season as the starter. And uh, just really the team, get the team going, lead the team, and uh, we're ready for it. Couldn't be more excited. How does your experience – being, you know, like not your first time. Well, I guess kind of the first time as a starter, but you know how to prepare for game week. How does that, you know, experience help you go into this week? Uh, helps me, I mean, a lot, uh, depending on, no matter if it's the first game, the last game, three games in, uh, it's all game prep and just getting there, watching film, studying your opponent, and uh, just getting better on the offense you're doing, so. How much easier is it to prepare for a game when you have a veteran team like you guys have this year? Uh, it helps a lot, definitely. Uh, now it's just you got to get the younger guys on the same page, uh, get the scout team going, just get the little things to make the, the team better. What have you seen from Southern Miss so far? I mean, they're a good, I mean, they're a good team. They've, uh, they do some good things on defense, uh, not too complex, I guess you could say, but uh, they do some things and they do some of those things well that, they're, that they key on. So You and Jamie always had a good connection last year, and both of y'all did some things that's never been done before. At Mississippi State, with the you know versatile being throwing, catching, running touchdowns, talk about being able to kind of top that this year and still have that weapon with Jamie on. It's not really about topping what records we broke or did we score three touchdowns different ways in a game or anything like that. It's more about just taking it one game at a time and making sure we get that win. No matter if the running back runs all all the touchdowns, I don't even throw a pass to Jamie on. Regardless, it's just getting better, helping the team out, and uh, just doing. Like I said, just doing your 111th to make How sure that they get that having a weapon like that, though, with Jamie on being so versatile? Oh, I mean, it's it's the best, really. I mean, you get him the ball quick, you hand it off to him, uh, just get it to him in open field, and he's going to make plays and have that confidence in him. And downfield one-on-one with the defender on him, I have the confidence in him, and he knows I throw him the ball. So uh, that just comes a long way as well. Listening to Coach Mullen today, it sounded like besides a win, the thing he wants most is a clean, well-executed game. Uh, definitely. I mean, uh, going in the first game of the season, we've been we've played our against ourselves for uh, the, the whole camp and spring football. So now to go in and just know what we can do, uh, perfect everything we do offense and defensively against another opponent, I think that'll make a successful game. I think Dan was talking to the early in this camp. One of your goals is kind of improve your passing and your technique. How happy are you getting into the season with that aspect of your game? I'm excited about it. I have great coaches, Coach Mullen and Coach Johnson, uh, the strength staff, just uh, everybody, and telling them what I wanted to improve on and just helping me do that. And uh, my receivers as well, offensive line will protect. And, uh, I mean, I think I've improved in other aspects as well, but uh, I'm excited about it. What are you excited about, I guess, most from maybe last year's DAC to this year's DAC? Uh, just uh, I think the game will be a lot slower this year than it was last year, having those starts. Uh, under my belt and knowing what to expect and just going out there and just playing the full game, uh, hopefully no in and out type deal. So Your guy Dylan was named one of the team captains there. It had to make you feel good. Oh, definitely. I mean, I had Dylan and Malcolm. Uh, that's two guys that protect me and a guy I can throw the ball to. And uh, definitely, as well as Jay Hughes, I mean, those guys are brothers and we're all excited for them and happy they represent us. A lot of movable parts on that offensive line since Damien's injury, but you got a lot of versatile guys up there that can play different spots. As a quarterback, how does anything change in your mind with different guys lining up different places? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, I trust every one of those guys that put up there. The coaches know what they're doing, and they wouldn't put them up there if they couldn't do the job, no matter if they're a center moving to tackle or a guard moving to the other guard or whatever it is. I mean, I just I trust those guys. Those are my brothers. I know the work they put in in the offseason. And to get in the position they are and to be the starter or to be the backup, wherever they are, I mean, we all have trust. With you kind of being the leader of the quarterbacks, if uh, Damien has to play in this game, how much do you have to kind of temper him with him being committed to Southern Miss at one time? Do you have to kind of calm him down a little bit over that, or is he kind of ready for that challenge? I'm not sure if that's even in Damien's mind. I mean, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how much he thinks about that commitment there, but uh, I mean, he's going to be excited just as much as any other game. Uh, we're just we're all excited and excited to get going.